I have no idea what I'm doing. But I'm gonna be honest. Brutally honest. Today is a work day. And this is my dinner. T-bone steak, shrimp, garlic parmesan, green beans, and mashed potatoes. Red skin mashed potatoes. But it's breakfast time, and I'm gonna eat this for breakfast because I feel like it. I'm not really a breakfast person. Like, I don't really like breakfast food for breakfast. It's just never been appealing to me. My doctor will be grateful that I'm eating it all. So it is what it is. I could probably eat anything for breakfast except breakfast food, like disgusting repulsive oatmeal and cereal, eggs I can tolerate only so many times a week, pancakes, french toast, grits. It disgusts me. I can't stand any of it. So today, dinner is breakfast. I have endometriosis, and because I have that stupid disease, it affects my digestive system, which results in me constantly feeling nauseous, so eating frequently is a must. I hate fruit. I don't have a favorite fruit. I tolerate it. I don't think there's any fruit that I actually love to eat. I just eat it because I know it's good for me and it's healthy. It's also highly important that I don't consume foods that are highly processed or large amounts of sugar or caffeine or alcohol. So I set myself to work with fruit that way I could not get out of not eating it. Honestly, there are times where I don't even eat the lunch I brought and I order out because that's what I want to do. I don't want to eat this. But it always comes back to bite me, so I don't really have a lot of choices left. Well, it's not exactly chocolate. It's not ice cream. It's not cake. It's definitely not steak. But it's not terrible. It's tolerable. I guess I can do it. I think I was supposed to take the skin off first because this is really, really chewy. Usually I just put it in the juicer and blend it all up. But this is not that. This is a lot harder to break down. This is like... This is like rubber. What are the whys? If you're gonna eat a mango, just take the skin off. It's a lot better. No, it's not visually appealing, but it's good for me. It's food and it's part of a balanced diet. Ah, uh, yes, water. In my house, you can only find wine, Ciroc, almond milk, and water. I stopped buying juice years ago. See, cause I have like portion control issues. So I figured it'd be easier for me not to even expose myself to something that I have no self control around. So I don't buy anything but water. My kids actually think juice is water. It's not the worst I've ever told them. Drinking enough water does make you pee all the time. And it's important that you actually pay attention to the color of your urine. It'll tell you a lot about your diet. Your pee is supposed to be a straw colored yellow. If it's kind of orangey, you need to drink more water. The more you drink, the more you have to go. And that might be inconvenient, but you want your kidneys to work properly or not. If you are a water hater, I'm right there with you. See, water tastes like absolutely nothing. So much that it actually tastes like something. And that something does not taste good. But when you're prone to kidney stones, water has to be your new best friend. <laughs> I don't know if this is a clementine or a halo. I wasn't really looking at the packaging when I purchased it. Either way, it's better than an orange. Way less work. Hmm. Not bad, it's tolerable. I can do it. I can, I can deal with this. Soggy sandwiches are a major pet peeve of mine, so everything has to be packaged separately so nothing can get soggy or mushy. 
I know I should switch my bread to rye, but I'm not really ready to taste the curb every single day. So I have some kind of wheat. It's not 100% wheat because 100% wheat tastes like dirt. At least to me it does. If I want to get choked, I'll go ask a guy to choke me instead. Lettuce and tomatoes make everything better. And I forgot my mustard. Some chips should fix that. Just a few chips on top for a little bit of a crunch. Voila. Usually I toast my bread, but I'm at work and there's no toaster, so I have to live with this. And two bites later, I feel full, courtesy of endometriosis. When you always feel bloated, you always feel full. When you always think you're full and you don't eat, you become nauseous because you haven't really actually eaten. And then you have to actually eat past gagging and nausea. And that can be really, really hard. I hate this disease. A little wine before bed always helps me get to sleep since I suffer from insomnia and I can't actually fall asleep most of the time. So, bottoms up. Why does the best sleep come the night before you have to do something the next day you don't want to do? Maybe my gym burnt down and I'll be lucky. I'm not that lucky though. I'm not that lucky. Check my emails, check my text messages, waste some time on TikTok. You are my everything. You are my rock. Get up, drink some water, Drinking water first thing in the morning is good for lowering blood pressure. You're my buffer. What does that mean? It means that I'm gonna use you as a decoy so people don't have to follow me around the gym. I can just, just avoid everybody by talking to you. Plus, I don't have my headphones charged. I haven't charged them in like nine months, so. I, have my on. I just found my headphones when I found those memory cards. <laughs> So I, I definitely didn't charge them in like a year now and um, I didn't know when I was going to get the balls to actually go to the gym, but I didn't want to go unprepared. So you're my buffer. That way no one can say anything to me. And if they do, I can just turn to you and laugh and pretend they're not there. It's easier going to the gym with a gym partner, which this never happens for me. So I'm taking advantage of this opportunity. I don't know about anybody else, but I would love to go to a gym where there were no men there. See, men, they don't read social cues. They care nothing about your headphones. They care nothing about the distance between you and them. They will follow you machine to machine, trying to talk to you, and they never get the hint. And don't get me started on the grunt that they make unnecessarily. I think we're gonna be okay. It's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt me more than it's gonna hurt you, because you're not gonna do a lot of stuff. But you don't want to. I do the step thingies. I can't speak for other women, but I wear what I want to wear for me because I'm a hell of a person to want to impress and please. Let's get something clear. My exercise habits were so terrible that if I didn't shave, I wasn't going to the gym and I didn't feel like dry shaving, so I just wouldn't go. Everything was a good excuse, a good enough excuse. This is breakfast. Cookies and cream, yogurt. Just something light and quick to put in my stomach before we go to the gym. This, this is disgusting. Kobani just ruined Oreos for me. Mm -hmm. Even with the cookies in here and the white chocolate, it's still disgusting. And the chocolate's good actually. It's just yogurt. The yogurt's in the way. It's affecting the chocolate's goodness. Oh, I can't have it all. I try to eat yogurt as much as I can for its probiotic properties, but this is nasty. So I'm just gonna spit out all the chocolate and separate the yogurt from the chocolate. That's the only way I'm gonna get this down. And if this grosses you out, that's too bad. I told you in the intro I was gonna be brutally honest. My man raised no quitter. But then again, she didn't raise me. 
Before the pandemic, this was known as LA Fitness. Welcome to hell. This is my body as of today. This is where I'm beginning. To some people, I might look like I'm in shape, but I'm not in shape at all. I know how I physically feel and I know how my body feels on the inside. Just because I'm small does not mean that I'm healthy. right here now right there right there you see it better you can see oh, it. oh look in the mirror look from the look from the side my nose is turning red <laughs> exercise and changes lives <sighs> I know what you're thinking. I know I'm not supposed to be here. I know I'm not supposed to have this. But I have to work and this is the fastest thing that I can eat right now and I have to eat. Do you mean to starve to death? What's your drink? What's your sauce? Can I actually have bottled water? Can I have honey mustard? Regular nuggets? And can you substitute my fries for pup fries with no bacon? Okay, I know I don't need the pub fries, but I worked out so hard and I really feel like I deserve this. And this is this is not just because I feel like I deserve this. This is because I'm hungry. All I had was that nasty yogurt. I am so hungry. And I'm not even getting soda. I'm getting water. See? There's my moral high ground. I'm drinking water. I'm not on a diet. I just can't have lots of processed food. So everything in moderation. This was my fast food meal for the week. This is the face of somebody happily satisfied. And look at that. It didn't take much. I don't know how true it is, but I heard that there's something in fast food that makes you just keep on wanting more fast food. And it might be true, but I know I don't really care. I just kind of want it. I'm not making excuses for myself, but in my previous life, I spent $5,000 on DoorDash. And this is not $5,000. This is like $23. And it's well worth it. And it's kind of wholesome. It's nothing but rice and like seafood and like a little bit of chicken. And I need protein after everything that I did at that gym. So I don't think this is that bad. 
Honestly, it's not often that I'm able to clean my entire plate, so I'm just gonna be grateful that I have an appetite and I can eat all my food. Oh yeah, during the night I got hungry, so I went to the kitchen and got myself some chocolate ice cream. It's gone. It's really important to me that I stay committed to fitness even when I can't get to the gym. Like today I work another 12 hour shift so I won't have time to go to the gym. And I have to constantly work out because a day off to me will turn into I'm never going back. First leg raise class. Not too bad. Next reverse crunch. This is killing my freaking tailbone. Spider-Man plank. This isn't too terrible, but it's the intro for the nightmare. Crossbody mountain climber is not for me. I hate this exercise with every. I hate it. Russian twists are nothing, but maybe I'm doing it wrong. In and outs are my actual favorite exercise. I love the challenge of this. Plank with hip dips. Plank jacks are the most excruciating exercise of all of the exercises in Chloe Ting's ab workout. But no matter what, even if I need a break just for a second or two, I always make sure that I keep going back and I keep on going. Taking a break is better than quitting altogether. Remember that. One hundreds. These are actually easy. The moment you realize exercise is a very brutal and barbaric means of staying in shape. It's 2021. There should be a pill for this by now. Up and down plank. Plank holds. Heel taps. This is excruciating. Bicycle crunch. Reverse crunch with leg extension. Again, I am smacking my tailbone on this thin layer of a so-called mat. More crunches. And last but not least, more up and down Planks. I did it. I did it. Breakfast. The most important meal of the day. So they say. And I have to confess. I know I said I cannot stomach eggs every single morning, but for some weird reason, when you fry them and you add some cheese and lettuce and tomatoes on toast, it's really freaking good. As I mentioned earlier, I kind of have to send myself to work with food that I usually wouldn't eat at home. That way, when I get hungry, I'll just be hungry enough that I'll be forced to eat all the things that I hate, but all the things that are relatively good for me. And uh, the cheesecake is a bonus. I've been a really good girl. I think I deserve it. So I know that it's not legal to eat and drive. However, I need to eat my food when it's hot. If I don't eat my breakfast sandwich while it is hot, I will lose interest, I will lose appetite, and I won't eat it at all. So I have to do whatever it takes to get this inside of my stomach. I don't know when this is going to get easier. I think because I don't want it makes me hate it even more. Like I would probably like this if there was some whipped cream or some sugar or some chocolate. Anything. Honestly, it's not that I that I hate it. It's that I just don't love it or like it at all. Growing up black, for me, was a little different. The only thing that they made us actually eat was black eyed peas, collard greens, and occasionally string beans. I'm sorry, this red raspberry is disgusting. It tastes like vinegar and lemon procreated and made a baby. How can you tell if a red raspberry is gonna be sweet or bitter? So, salads are growing on me. I didn't hate salads, but I, I definitely did not ever love them. But I'm learning to like them. They're like almost, almost delicious. I won't 
get carried away. I'm not gonna give him that much, but they're they're pretty darn good. If I were home from work, I wouldn't have a sandwich every day. Not for lunch, but I'm not going to deny that these sandwiches are turning into my guilty pleasure. I love them. They're so good. You have to try the sandwiches that I make. If you want them, I will leave the recipe in the description box below. Have you ever salivated before taking the perfect bite? It's okay. You don't have to lie to me. I know you have. If you know somebody who's a vegan or who's a vegetarian, please do not insult them and say, do you only eat nuts and berries? Nuts and berries taste like garbage. I'm sure they have the benefit of a broader palate than this. So here's the thing about yogurt. It's not like gogurt when you were a kid. Eating yogurt makes me feel the same response that my gag reflexes have when you shove your toothbrush all over your tongue to brush your tongue. That natural gag feeling. That's what I get from eating yogurt. If I don't think about it too much, I can tolerate the yogurt. But I can't believe I call this crap a snack. If you're going back to the gym for the first time in a year, max out shouldn't even be a part of your vocabulary yet. Don't do what I did. I have a lot of respect for Chloe Ting's ab workout. I can definitely admit it does work if you do it every day, if you're consistent. And if you can't do it every day, find something you can do in between to stay moving. I wish I'd done this sooner, but everything happens for a reason. And for the first time in my entire life, I have the willpower to keep on going even if I need to stop for a little bit. I can finally do it. I don't know what came over me. I don't know what kind of epiphany happened. Nothing that I can pinpoint specifically. But for the first time in my life, I'm able to be consistent. And I'm really happy to be able to share that with you guys. Because if you guys weren't watching, there would be no me.